what is up everybody and welcome back to another video today we have my son Jaden in the chair and it's been about a week and a half since I've cut his hair and it's getting a little longer we had a family get together to go to this past weekend so I definitely had to get him right so let's go ahead and get started with my Babless FX trimmers and just create this first guideline all the way around his head as always I'm gonna start about the midway point and just work my way all the way around his head making sure that it's nice and even all the way around when I'm done creating that first guideline I'll just spin him around in the chair and make sure that it's all like even all the way around and after that I'll go to this next step which is what you see right here and I'll just start cleaning up all that hair underneath this first guideline pretty much to a skin and that's when I'll be using my Bronze Series 9 to just bald him right out. Almost every single haircut I do on myself and my two boys, I almost always do skin. It's honestly just a personal preference and I feel like it makes their haircuts look better, it pops a little more and I know how fast their hair can grow back though in my opinion it just helps to keep the hair looking a little fresher just a little bit longer in between cuts with my ion extreme hair clippers I'm gonna throw that notch down with no guard about two levers closed and just start creating this second guy line just like I did the first one all the way around his head and just making sure that it's nice and even throughout this second guy line is a little bit thick but not too thick once I create that guy line around his head I'm just gonna close the clipper lever all the way closed and blend that out completely once I finish that that's what you see me doing now with the trimmers just balding it out a little more making sure that the line isn't noticeable and also remembering to brush the hair down and that just helps to keep the hair out the way so you can see what else needs to be blended and whatnot. For my third guy line, I am using the number one guard. I honestly should have just used the half guard with the lever about halfway closed. I do that on the opposite end, but for this one, I start off with the number one guard, then I switch it to this half guard with the lever halfway closed, and I just start blending out that bottom line from the number one guard. As I'm blending out this half line with no guard on, I have the lever fully closed now and I'm still only using the corner of the blade while also brushing the hair out the way as well with that little brush. With the one and a half guard attached, I'm blending out the hair at the very peak of the side of his head. I'm not trying to go too light on this hair. If I do, I pretty much have to dig into it just how his head is shaped and the hair is angled on there so I'm just keeping the guard pretty much flat and just flicking outwards not into the actual hair with the number one guard attached I'm doing the same exact thing blending at the very peak of the hair uh, trying to get this line blended out now right here in the back towards the bottom and just making sure that everything's nice and blended equally This bottom line was being a little bit stubborn for me in the back. I had the lever all the way closed with the half guard on still and I'm just going at it trying to get it blended down evenly with the skin on the sides and when that didn't work I took the guard off and just started going at it at an angle with the corners of the blade. And I have this soft bristled brush that I was using that's a lot better than the previous one. This one's soft and it doesn't irritate his skin as easily as the previous one did. He still had quite a bit of thickness at the very peak of his the side of his head so I'm just doing a little bit of clipper over comb action with the number one guard attached and just scooping the hair pulling the comb a little bit towards me and cutting the remaining hair that just lays through the comb itself. 
After each time I go through the comb with the clippers, I'm brushing the hair down to make sure it lays in its natural position. That way I can make sure I'm getting a nice and even cut. After a little bit of that clipper over comb action, I still had a line right there at the darkest part. So I attached the number 2 guard and with the lever all the way closed and just flicking out at that. Moving on to the next side, I'm going to try and work as quick as I can through this cut. If you've noticed, my son has been falling asleep throughout this cut and I actually wanted to make this like in a hurry. So instead of using that one guard like I told you guys earlier, I went ahead and attached the half guard, blended at the very bottom line. Then I got the number one guard with the lever all the way closed as well. And I'm now blending in at that darkest point right here. With the number one and a half guard, I have the lever all the way closed. And at the very peak of his hair now, I'm just going to start flicking out and getting that blended evenly with the rest of the hair. I was very surprised at how well his hair was blending on this side of his head with each clipper guard that I was using. Now to blend out that one and a half guard, I have the number one guard attached. I'm not sure where the lever is. Oh, it's actually halfway closed. And I'll just be closing that a little bit at a time, just until I notice that the one and a half guard line has been blended out quite well. Now that I'm watching this video, I realize I shouldn't have even put this half guard on because as you can see, it's not really doing much to the bottom of that line. I should have just gone straight to this step and started blending out with no guard on. And now as you can see, it's starting to blend it out a little bit more and a lot quicker. If you do get to a scenario where you're at like a part like this in the haircut, uh, don't freak out. Just use the no guard technique and blend with the corners you'll get a nicer and easier blend as you can see through each step i'm doing with the lever fully closed at this point the line has blended out very well and i was definitely happy with it i just knew it needed to be blended out a little more and that's where these wall magic clippers come into place with the lever fully closed they cut down a little bit better than my ion extreme clippers but I wouldn't say that the Ion Extreme Clippers are meant for detail. They're more meant for blending. And with the Wall Magic Clippers, you can actually detail just a little bit better with those. The side of my son's hair most likely will like always blend a little bit faster than like the back. So I'm just going back with the half guard again and slowly blending out that line a little bit at a time. I was just scared that I was going to create another line in the process. That's why I didn't go back to using the no guard right away. But I went ahead and fixed it up, detailed it a little bit more. And now we're here at this part where I'm just brushing his hair, parting it to the side so I can separate his little part line. And I'm going to go ahead and get it nice and detailed. He wanted to lay his head like this. I didn't ask him to. Uh, he was just tired, you guys. So I let him do his thing. And I grabbed my Babyliss FX trimmers, flipped them upside down, and began just tracing the outline of his natural part line. They're very sharp this way, and they cut through the hair with ease. They're very soft, and they didn't irritate his skin at all. As you can see, the front of his hair didn't need a lot of detail at all. Uh, so I just cut some of the hair that was sticking out right there from the bottom area, cleaned up the sides on both ends, and just kind of did a nice little shape up on the corner bottom of his C cup area. With the scissors I'm just going to clean up any hair that may have been left over in the part line area and just clean up a little bit of hair in the cowlick area as well. I could still see a line on the side, so a little bit more detail work was needed, so I'm using my Andy Slimline Pros. To clean up any extra line around the hair, I grabbed my Bronze Series 9, and I'm just doing a flicking out motion around his entire head, uh, just to clean up any line that my Andy Slimline Pros weren't able to take out. Thank you. 
Out of personal preference, I'm using the Tomb 45 Shave Gel. I really like this shave gel and so does my son. It smells very good. It never leaves his skin irritated. It doesn't make anybody's skin that I've used bumpy. And a little bit really does go a long way with this. When using the straight razor, I'm very careful to not apply any pressure at all. The razor is very sharp so it honestly just does all the work and cuts through the hair. This is just a one time use razor so once I'm com complete with this haircut, I toss the razor in the trash. Don't forget when you're using a straight razor on somebody to always pull and stretch on the skin. It helps to tighten the area that you're cutting and also helps the hairs to stand up a little bit taller and prevents you from possibly nicking the client by accident. I know on the darkest part of my son's hair right here, uh, you can still kind of see a line, but if I would have gone any shorter with any of the guards, it would have just made the hair itself look a little shorter. So this is the look I was going for for him. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, you guys. We've reached the end of the cut. I just put some aloe vera powder on my hand. And I kind of poured a little too much and put some on his neck and then dusted him off with the duster. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a blessed day, y'all. Peace.